Hello everyone and welcome once again to Scorpion Cigar Reviews. Today I will be reviewing the Camacho Liberty Series 2013. There are once again 40,000 of these individual coffins that are made. This one is number 25,285. Not that that really matters. Um, this has the new Scorpion logo on it for the new Camacho line. Let's see. I picked this up from Milan Tobacconist here in Roanoke, Virginia on, oh, I believe it was October 24th of this year. These little boxes are really neat. And inside it's wrapped in a tissue type paper. Lovely as usual. just absolutely huge on the cedar but you know it's it's in a little cedar coffin so you know I'd expect a lot of cedar notes and that cedar is pretty much overpowering the entire cigar this is uh, as per usual the 1118 size and uh, has the Camacho Liberty series 2013 label on it and then it has the foot band as well freedom is not free amen to that brother okay man I'm gonna go ahead and remove this foot band man just just loads and loads of Spanish cedar on the wrapper plenty of that on the foot as well along with some Bread dough, kitchen spices, a little bit of general tobacco type notes, hint of leather, very subtle hint of leather. All right. Today I'll be using my Zycar. One pretty good sized stem right here. I don't know if you can see that. Kind of sticking up there. There, you can see it sticking up, coming around to the front. Right there. Pretty decent stem. Let's see if I can. Ah, that came out nicely. It wasn't very long. All right. Pre draw. A little bit of leather, some cumin. Slight hint of that Spanish cedar. Lots of leather. I like that. I'm a big fan of leather. All right, excellent pre-draw. I'm gonna do it with my lighter, here we go. Go ahead and get toasted up. Using a single flame torch lighter today. Let's 
give that a try. Right off the bat, some spices. Uh, kind of spicy, like, not quite black pepper, but spicier than white pepper. Here it comes. The typical blast of pepper that you get when you first light up a cigar. Didn't quite get the edge of it. Plenty of smoke output. Okay. Let's see, uh, we'll let this heat up a little bit. We'll get somewhere into the first third and I'll be back. I'm pairing today's cigar with Spayburn 10 year old single malt scotch whiskey. Now, it's not in its original bottle. Caught a great deal on a 1.75 milliliter bottle, but it doesn't fit in my whiskey cabinet. So I had to find a couple decanters that I had, get them cleaned up, and uh, decanted them into uh, decanted it into a couple decanters here. So this is what we have. I'll go ahead and pour myself a dram. Or so. Let's start with that. that. Looks pretty good. Nice color. Now, being that this, is, this has been decanted and uh, it's not filled all the way to the top and I actually had to drink some down in the bottle just to get it to fit into the two decanters that I had. Uh, it's been uh, mixed with some oxygen already so it's already mellowed out quite a bit. Citrus notes, some orange peel You smell the alcohol. A little bit of leather in there. Hint of vanilla. Some other things going on. Definitely has a malt character to it. Once again, I can taste that leathery note. Okay, use a little time in the glass and we'll go ahead and add a little bit of water with Ralphie's uh, universal measuring device, a teaspoon. I'll start with about one teaspoon of water in here. And then I'll let it sit with my little lid on it. I'll get back to the cigar review. Here we are about 20 minutes in. I had to give it a little touch up already. Um, and then I was just looking in, it looked like I was gonna need it again, but then it self-corrected. The ash is pretty loose and flaky. You see there, it's just awful on the on the ash there. I'm going to go ahead and try to neaten this up a little bit in the ashtray. I don't really want to flip it off, but because I don't want it to go out. But uh, we'll see what happens there.
some mineral notes, a little bit of white pepper, a hint of mustiness kind of attached to the tail end of the mineral. This is, at this point, probably a medium strength. Low end of medium, like a medium minus. The body, about a medium. Medium on the flavors as well. Okay. Starting to pick up some other some other flavors coming through on the tail end of the finish. Not not quite sure what they are. They're familiar. Just can't pick out what it is. Slightly dry smoke. But at the same time, I can feel that it's trying to cream up a little bit. But the initial draw is quite dry. Okay. I'll uh, continue on. I'll uh, come back somewhere in the second, third. Here we are, about 45 minutes in. Uh, the ash has remained flaky and loose. I've tapped it off a couple times already. Picking up some cedar and subtle hints of leather and something reminiscent of Maybe mothballs. Not, 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 not in a bad way, but it is what it is. There's also a heavy parchment note there. Slight bit of meatiness just now starting to come through. Okay, real interesting flavors coming on here. Really nice cigar. Okay, I'll uh, continue on. I'll come back somewhere in the final third. Here we are just about an hour and 10 minutes in. Some white pepper on the retro hail. Some kind of musty, leathery type of note. A little bit of meatiness. Real pleasant. The burn has slowed down considerably. See, I still have quite a bit left. I've removed the band. Um, just just after I just started enter the final third, I had to remove the band because it's such a, a large band. It it took up pretty much the entire final third of the cigar. The burns remained uh, pretty even. It's, it's a little bit wavy, but not too bad. For the most part, it's been self-correcting. Starting to pick up a little bit of a like a nicotine kick. I can feel it kind of deep in my chest. Long finish on that pepper note. It's back on the rear of the palate, I can feel it. 
and even across the across my tongue from, from about midway on back. Pepper note is still there. Just now starting to fade. Okay. Well nice cigar. Now for seventeen dollars and ninety-five cents. And this is you know the uh, the Liberty series. It's Camacho's end all be all what have you. Uh, their uh, creme de la creme blend for the year. Uh, I think it's a little bit pricey. I, I don't think it's worth you know, eighteen dollars, but uh, I I try them whenever they come out. I'm always happy with the Liberty series. Just uh, I don't think it's worth the price. For me. I tend to only pick up two, maybe three of these through the year. Okay. Real nice cigar. I'll continue smoking this. I'll get into the nub and I'll be back. Here we are, about an hour and 35 minutes in, into the nub. Wrapper's starting to split and come unraveled. There you can see. Did have to touch it up again a little bit. It wasn't real bad, but I like a nice even burn. The nub saw a quick little burst of, the best I could describe it would be like, like bacon. Real rich, very forward. Only lasted for, well, I think it was about three draws. And I picked up a little bit of fresh raw mushroom kind of musty like like a fresh raw mushroom would be picked right out of the ground still has a slightly meaty character to it white pepper on the retro hail still a little bit of that nicotine kick deep in the chest real pleasant cigar I'll go ahead and end this review here saying that the Camacho Liberty Series 2013. To this point, I've been burning for well, about an hour and 40 minutes. Saw flavors of white pepper, cedar, subtle leather, a little bit of mothball in there. Some, a uh, little bit of bacon, mushroom. Real nice. Definitely a real nice cigar. Medium body, flavor and strength. It did ramp up uh, in body and strength a little bit uh, as, as I smoked. Uh, it started off uh, a low end of medium, like a medium minus. Uh, it's probably a medium plus. Uh, not quite, not quite medium full, but no real burn issues. Uh, did touch it up a couple times. Went out on me once, but uh, I had set it down in the ashtray for a little while, and uh, it went out. Gave a little touch up. It's a little windy out today, so uh, doesn't surprise me. Plenty of smoke output. $18 for a little over an hour and a half worth of smoking. Uh, a little pricey, but uh, definitely worth a try. Not one that I would uh, keep around my humidor. I uh, you know, wouldn't load my humidor up with you know a box of these by, by any means. It's, it's not worth that to me, but uh, definitely worth a try. 
So I thank you for once again watching Scorpion Cigar Reviews. Catch you next time.